We're going on the record. Court is calling 2020 CR 7235, State of Texas versus Moses Albert Martinez. Hank Wilkins for the state, Your Honor. For the defense. Tilden Schaefer for Mr. Martinez. Are you Mr. Martinez? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, you entered a plea on March 26 to count one and count three. You entered a plea of guilty. The court found there was sufficient evidence to find you guilty and the court found you guilty. And today we are here for uh, sentencing. According to the plea bargain agreement, punishment was to be assessed at a cap of 10 years in the prison. There's a $2,500 fine and the state opposes your application and they're taking a case into consideration. Have both parties had a chance to review the PSI report state? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. Have both parties had a chance to review the TAP evaluation state? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. Any objection? No, no objection to the state, Your Honor. All right. Is there a reason there's like this long line over here? Oh, so here's the thing off the record. I told every attorney, if y'all would just have a seat, if you put your file down, they're going to call you in the order of appearance. And just standing there, those steps don't count because you're not moving. <laughs> So if y'all will have a seat, because you know what? The deputies have to keep an eye on the people in the box for security reasons. Thank you. All right, we're back on the record. State, you're opposed? Yes, Your Honor. All right, State. Your Honor, the, uh, the defendant has a uh, pretty significant criminal history. Uh, it looks like in uh, 2011, he was sentenced to three years in the prison for a drug offense. In, uh, uh, in 2013, he was sentenced to six years in the prison for a, a, a one to four gram uh, drug offense, Your Honor. Um, uh, it doesn't look like, I don't believe that it will be uh, successful when he's placed on community supervision, Your Honor. So that's why we're asking uh, uh, for the uh, for time, Your Honor. All right. Defense, do you have any witnesses? Uh, just my client, Your Honor. All right. Could you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth shall help you, God? I do. Your All right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Moses Martinez. All right. Defense. Mr. Martinez, can you explain to the court uh, why it is you're asking her for probation despite your record? Your Honor, because um, when I was on the run for these four years, I had a job. And I have a new family with three stepkids, and I just wanted to see if you can give me a second chance to show you. Um, I have a drug problem, but I feel like with a second chance. Um, well, Moses, when you were arrested on this case that you pled guilty to, the judge found you guilty, you were high that day. Is that correct? Yes, sir. What were you high on? I was high on uh, heroin. And you you were found in the parking lot in the academy where two other young men with you, right, who were also were arrested, uh, who had been shoplifting. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And so when the police investigated and searched the vehicle, they found syringes, they found heroin, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So you were a heavy user at the time. And you recall when we when I first met you and I was representing you, do you remember? Do you remember what where you were as far as your mm -hmm. record? Yes, I was pretty lost. Um, okay. But actually, when I did go on the run, like I found a job with the Reliant uh, Moving Company, and okay, I've been. Well, yeah. All right, but I'm I'm talking about back in the day when we you first met me before you went AWOL from court. You were a heavy user. Yes, correct. Yes, sir. In fact, we. We didn't have a great relationship at that time, did we? You were you were pretty mad at me, weren't you? Okay. Yeah, I remember. You wanted me to get the case dismissed, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. So since that time, uh, you've been away, but how long have you been in jail since you got arrested on the warrant for missing court here? The day after Valentine's. Okay. So since February 15th, you've been in jail. So that's about, I don't know, three months, whatever. Okay. Would you say maybe your mind's a little clearer after cleaning out for three months? Yes, sir. Now, you're asking this judge for probation, is that correct? Yes, sir. All right. 
but you're not asking to walk out of the courtroom today, are you? You're asking to go into inpatient this yes, because you understand that you still need that level of help to make sure you don't slide back to Tunes and Herald. Yes, sir. Okay. You understand that until the day you die, you're going to be an addict. Yes, sir. Okay. You're never going to beat it. You just manage it. Okay. Yes, so uh, you have a very long criminal history. Okay. A lot of it is drugs. Okay. And how old are you now? Um, 40 and a couple months. Do you want to spend the rest of your life going in and out of prison? No, so Why not? I don't want to lose this family that I got. I pass away, Mr. Hi, Mr. Martinez. My name is Hank Wilkins. I'm one of the prosecutors here. If I ask anything that you don't understand, just let me know. I'll try to phrase it, okay? Did your attorney go over this with you? This is the uh, the PSI, the, the pre-sentence investigation. Did you go over this with you? Well, we can start. Well, last we were here previously. We did. You, you remember talking to somebody mm -hmm. for them to put this together? Yes, somebody from probation? Okay. Uh, so you remember talking to him about the day you got arrested? Okay. So do you remember what you told him about uh, about being at the academy? Um, <clears throat> yeah, but that was the last one. Uh, yes, I, I do remember. Okay. You said that you're waiting in the truck and you didn't know they were stealing yeah. stuff, right? So do you feel like you're taking responsibility for, for why you got arrested? Yeah. You feel like you are, even despite what you told these folks. Well, I mean, I know I got to get punished. You know, I was. What do they say? Like um, guilty by association. Okay, so you feel like you are taking responsibility for for the reason you're in court today. Okay, I pass the witness, John. Any other questions? Uh, just one quick judge. Ho hopefully, quick. Oh no! Take your time. Yeah, well, so the prosecutor just asked you that when you said in the PSI interview that you didn't know these two young men were shoplifting. Yeah, I didn't know that. Before. Okay, but you weren't saying that you weren't in possession of heroin, were you? No, were you? No, yeah, I, I had it. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, Not, nothing but the you. shoplifting, I didn't. Okay. Okay, nothing further. All right, I have a question. These stepchildren you have, how old are they? One's 13, one's eight, and one's six. All right, how long have you known their mother? Eight years. I'm sorry? Eight years. All right, so she knows about your criminal history? Oh, yes, yes, Your Honor. All right, anything else from either side? Court will hear argument. Your Honor, we're asking, uh, we're asking for time. I don't believe that the defendant is taking responsibility uh, here in this case. I, I think that's clear from the tap and, and from what he's uh, said to the court today, Your Honor. So that's why we're asking for time. All right. How much time are you asking for? Uh, you know, Judge, the last time he went for six years, we're asking for six years again. All right. Judge, uh, I'm asking that you place him in intensive uh, and patient mm -hmm. like the like the tap and that asked for. I think I think the tap I thought when I read the tap, it said that he was highly motivated and they're asking for state state ISF. Um, so I would I would ask that you do that. Um, it, you know, if you just want to go off his criminal history, then you just have to give him time. But if you look at him as a person. Uh, oh, everybody knows I look at everyone as a person. I don't look at anybody as a criminal or a defendant. We are human beings here. So, so I think this is someone who's, who's realizing he's just got to stop this behavior. He's not coming in here and asking you, hey, put me an inpatient, outpatient, or mm -hmm. what have you. He, he understands there's a wait for that bed. He understands that that's a long program. Um, he understands all those things. Um, he understands the, the level of his addiction, Judge. So I'm asking you that, that you place him on that probation, max him out as you need. Um, if, if you're not inclined to give him probation, Judge, then I would ask that you give him a lower sentence, somewhere in the four to five year range. All right. So this is what I see of his criminal history. Of his criminal history, I see that there was inhaling abuse, and inhaling abuse is one of the worst things that you can do because it kills your brain cells immediately. So I see that from his history. And then everything else he has, which the history is not great. I see possession of marijuana. I see possession less than a gram. I see possession 
one to four grams, he was sent to jail. I see another possession that was dismissed, another possession that was dismissed. I see another possession in 2011 where he went to prison. I see a possession from 2013 where he went to prison. And now we're here with this case. And I know the case says possession with intent to deliver, but based upon the stipulations that the court has reviewed, there were items for using drugs. And it appeared that some had already been used because you could see the pipe with the heroin in it. So I'm gonna give you a choice. Here are your choices. One, I can sentence you to six years in the prison or uh, you can have inpatient treatment. But let me just tell you something about the inpatient treatment in this court. And let me tell you about probation in this court. I have people who tell me who have never been to prison there. They tell me judge. Um, I would just go prison instead of doing your probation because your probation is hard. You know better than I do whether or not you can be successful at this or not successful at this. And what I will tell you, the only way that I'll consider giving you the probation is if you all decide to apply for deferred adjudication and your counsel will tell you with deferred adjudication, the full range of punishment is available from the court, which would be five to 99 years or life in prison. Oh, I think he may need time to talk about it because here's the thing. When people come, we can go off the record. When people come before me and they're trying to stay out of prison, you know what they'll tell me? I'll do probation for life. And believe it or not, there are some places where people are on probation for life. They will tell me, I'll do probation for life. I'll report every day. That's because you're looking at the immediate and not looking at long term. So immediate for you, you don't want to go to prison. But I think your attorney needs to sit down and talk to you about this range of punishment, because what it will mean is if you come before me on a motion to revoke and if it's deemed to be true, you're looking at 99 years in prison, not the cap of 10 that the state was offering you. So I'm going to give you some time to talk to your attorney about that so you can look at it objectively and not, oh, I don't want to go to prison. You understand? So if you all to step back and discuss that. <clears throat> Oh, what do you wish to do? The 10 years probation. All right. You want to pull the application for deferred? Yes. Thank you, ma'am, for a second chance. You're welcome. Oh, no, no, no. We're not done yet. They just need to fill out an application. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Oh, no. Oh, no. It should not be the 26 yes. on here. That's okay. <laughs> Oh, somebody put March on there? Oh, you can just change it to me. Like we're just dispensing. All right, we're gonna go back on the record on Moses Albert Martinez in 2020 R7235. Now have parties reannounce for the record for the state. Hank Wilkins for the state, Your Honor. Defense. Uh, Tilden Schaefer for Mr. Martinez. All right, and you are Mr. Martinez, correct? Yes, ma'am. All right, so according to your plea, your original plea bargain agreement, it was a cap of 10 opposed. Are you asking that the court consider your application for deferred adjudication? Yes, ma'am. Are you waiving your right to appeal? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason a motion to revoke were filed, and if your uh, deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could find you guilty and sentence you up to life in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, Your Honor. Knowing that, do you still wish to apply for deferred adjudication? Yes, Your Honor. All right. The court is going to find, uh, as previously stated, counts one and counts two, sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt. The court is going to uh, grant your application for deferred adjudication. The court will place you on 10 years deferred adjudication. 
there's going to be a referral to felony drug court. And if he's not accepted, then he's going to safety. He's to remain in custody until he's transferred to felony drug court or safety. Upon release, there's to be 120 sober meetings in 120 days. The UA hotline until further notice. There's to be proof of employment within 30 days of release. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Field visits one time per month for six months. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. Three hundred hours of community service restitution. And the MRT and parenting classes. Once the parenting classes are completed, the community service hours will be deemed satisfied. Uh, probation. Is there anything else he needs? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? No, Your Honor. All right, did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, Your Honor. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, we can go off the record. The joy you're feeling now without going to prison, when probation gets hard for you, you need to remember this moment, the joy where you were telling me, oh, I'll do this. I'll report every day. Remember that when you have to report once a month. Remember that when probation is coming to your house for a field visit to make sure everything is okay. Do not come back to court and saying, oh, it's too hard. I have to do this and that. Remember, you were looking at going to prison. In this court, communication is key to be successful at probation. You need to let them know what the issues are happening in your life. I know sometimes I used to be a defense attorney. You would tell your client, don't tell them this, don't tell them that. But in this court, honesty is the best policy. If there's an issue, let them know. If after you come out of outpatient, inpatient treatment and you feel like you're about to use again, let your probation officer know. If you feel like they're not addressing it, come to court. If I'm here, we'll address it. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Good luck to you. I just want to make sure clarify for him mostly. Um, you said no unsupervised contact with minors. And yes. They're three step. Yeah. Minors. No unsupervised contacts. And let me just tell you while I'm doing this, I don't just try to divide families and do all of this, but in the state you're in right now, you shouldn't be having contact with minors unless it's unsupervised because you are not at the point in your life where you are clean and sober. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. All right. But you understand what she's saying. That yes, means that you're supervised. if your wife has, has to leave the house, yes. you can't be the one taking care of them. You understand that? Yes. yes. All right, okay. good luck to you. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. All right, who's here on Anthony Woodard?